Hello, hello, hello. Hey, hey, hey. Come on in and get comfortable. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Jaleesa, Reading Beyond the Book Cover, where we stay reading beyond the book's cover. My name is Jaleesa. Welcome if it's your first time and welcome back if you are returning. Mm-hmm. I know it's been a minute. Uh, we already know what's going on. I'm not going to go into it. I've had a life adjustment. I now have two children in the home. I've always had two children, but they were not here. So now they're here and my life has been you know shifting moving doing this thing um but one thing i made sure that i'm still doing is reading i have been thinking about doing a new series um last year i was trying out the vlogging like a weekend reading with me couldn't keep up with it too much because you know there's a lot of recording and then a lot of putting things together so yeah, I said, let me scratch that. And then I was thinking about doing sprints from the book club and that kind of not necessarily fell through. I still want to do that, but I'm going to do it a little bit, a little bit differently next year. Um, and then I also was considering something else. I'm not really sure. So it's, it's fine. Like things are always changing, right? Um, but this I can keep up with pretty sure. So since the boys have been here, um, we have been going to the library almost every single week. And what we do is library hopping library hopping is a little bit like bar hopping we just go from library to library um, we have been blessed very fortunate um, to have access to wonderful libraries where we live at and I always want to share with you all what we've got from the library so I've been in the background working on blog posts and I am also considering doing maybe a podcast episode I'm not really sure um, but maybe not for the books that I, I borrowed last year. Not last year, last month. Last month was a very chaotic month. Chaotic, but a good chaotic. And I'll do a video about that later. Just put a tab in it. It's possible. Um, Cause I can't really put anything in, in the stone, but just always look for something to come out for me randomly. I'm not on a schedule. If you're new here, just, just get used to it. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. I'm not on a schedule because, one, I'm not a TV show. Um, and I'm a person at the end of the day. So I have things that I need to do. But um, that doesn't mean I'm not going to share what I've been up to. I share in some kind of way. So go on ahead. Follow me in other places if you want to. Um, but back to why we're here. I wanted to do a library haul for you all every single week that we went to the library. But I never really sat down to do it. So I told myself today, Julissa, just do it. As soon as you get in the house, sit down and do it. So I'm now comfortable I'm in the home. Um, I already told the boys that we'll be sharing their books as well. It's not going to be long because I don't really read the back of books before I buy them, but I do kind of remember why I pick up books. So I will tell you why I pick up these books. I have already segmented or sectioned them out according to the shelf or the area that I got it from. We're going to first start with books that I had put on hold as well as bibliographies. Um, then we have graphic novels from the the teen section um and then on this side i have new books because my library as soon as you walk as soon as you walk in there's a shelf with new books on the side and then i also have some uh, an adult graphic novel and then i have of course adult books so that's the audiences that i am catering to now i'm not gonna read all these books most likely not but it's good to know that my library has it um and sometimes what i do when it the reason why I pick up books, even though I know I most likely won't get around to it, is just to have a feel for it. Because let's say I do read the ebook version of it and I decide I want to buy the physical. Well, at least I know what the physical feels like and looks like because I have been able to tangibly touch, you know, I've been able to touch it um, in person when I went to the library. So let me go ahead and get started. I'm going to do my haul first and then I'm going to ask the boys to come and share their books afterwards. And they're not going to show themselves. They're going to just show their hand and tell me why they picked out the book they picked out. So let's go ahead and start. Um, I have two books from Michael Arsenault. I picked up these two books because I am a, I want to say, yeah, I'm a regular listener. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm, I've barely missed any episodes of The Friend Zone. It's a podcast. I'm a loudspeakers network podcast. And this is their friend who's also an author, Michael Arsenault. Okay. Um, I feel like oh and michael is from houston y'all okay so this is a houston author here um and i'm excited to read their book 
they have several books out. I think they have a new book that came out uh, recently. This is a collection of essays I don't want to die for. Uh, yeah, I like the title. <laughs> I don't want to die for. This is the one that I put on hold at the library. Um, and then this is the one that I also put on hold at the library too. But I was supposed to pick it up yesterday and I got lucky that they still had the, the book at the library when I wanted to go and pick it up. And it's called I Can't Date Jesus, Love, Sex, Family, Race, and Other Reasons I Put My Faith in Beyonce. So I love these titles. I'm excited to jump into them and just have a good time. Maybe what I'll do is put aside, you know, a little bit of time each day to read a story and hopefully I can finish it by the time I have to return these books back to the library. So there's that. Again, it is I Don't Want to Die Poor. I don't think this one has anything extra besides I Don't Want to Die Poor. Yeah, I Don't Want to Die Poor. And then we have I Can't Date Jesus. And I know they have a third book, but I don't remember the name of it. I feel like it's something about like I finally bought a, a pair of Jordans. Something like that. You know, these titles, they're catchy. So yeah, those two. Michael Arsenault, I Don't Want to Die Poor, and I Can't Date Jesus. These are the both, the both of the bibliographies that I have checked out. And they both were put on hold at my library. Now, we're going to go to the middle grade graphic novels. I have here, booked by Kwame Alexander. Sorry, not middle grade, this is teen. Um, middle grade is going to be after this. Okay, yeah, I have to make sure I got my stuff together. So yeah, I have booked. I picked it up because one, the spine was eye-catching when I was looking through uh, the graphic novel section for teens. And that's another thing I have to like complain about. At my library, they don't put all the graphic novels in one area. You, me, I had to ask like how, what, where are you all's graphic novels for adults, children, and teens? And so they have it by the code. So on the side, if it says 741, Point five. I don't know if you can see that or not. Ooh. But it's seven. Oh, it's not mirrored. Sorry. Well, you may you may see it. Anyhow, seven four one point five. That means that it's a graphic novel. So now I know where to look. I have to look in the seven hundreds um, to find graphic novels for each of the sections. Um, so it's good to know. But I picked it up because I thought that maybe after I read it, this would be something that me and the boys can read together. Because the oldest in particular enjoys soccer, and I think the old, youngest does too. But he doesn't really talk about it as much as the oldest does. Um, but I like it how it's we have a color scheme going I'm liking that um, and it the way that it's formatted it's reminded me a little bit of um, who was the book I read not too long ago was it token I don't know. though the talk the talk um, I forgot the author's name but I read the talk I'll put the the book here um, and I like how this writing, as far as how the appearance looks, it reminds me of a lot of that one. So I'm gonna be reading the talk. Don't know what it's about, but it doesn't matter. No. <laughs> um, over My Dead Body. <clears throat> so over my, over my Dead Body is by Sweeney Boo. Love the name, Sweeney Boo. I'm not really sure if this book is supposed to look like this on the, on the edges or if somebody did something but I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's supposed to look like this um I started this book I don't know when it was maybe two or three years ago I want to say three or four when did this come out okay so most like two years ago I tried to get read this book the ebook every time I would check it out it would go back to the library so I said Jaleesa just go ahead and get the physical when you can so I did my library had it I was surprised it was in the teen section um I did I don't think I was in the, the, the head space to read it because I, I do remember enjoying what I did read of it. And just like I sidetracked, as I usually do, because I'm a mood reader. Can't really stick to anything. If you go and check my good reads, I'm maybe in the middle of 60 something books. If you go check check my story graph, I'm maybe in the middle of 40 something books. Um, but yeah, this is a book that I started. I just need to finish it. So that's why I went ahead and got it. Um, so thank the Lord to have it. This is another book that I started and haven't finished. Um, Flamer. I started this because Zen at Zen's Book Corner had suggested this book, and for whatever reason, every time I pick up the uh, the e not e yeah the ebook, I get sidetracked. So having the physical maybe will change that. I don't remember how far I got into it. I'm pretty sure maybe fifty percent. Okay, maybe not that much. Maybe thirty or forty percent. 
but I'm, I'm, I'm going to finish it now that I have it in my hands. You'll notice a pattern here. There are several books that I have maybe started and maybe stopped because for whatever reason I wasn't in the mood. So hopefully having the physical, which is very thick, you hear that? Uh, <laughs> Flamer, I will read it. And the Flamer is by Mike Curado. I believe so. Yeah, Mike Curado. It's a 2020 release. Um, these are the pictures. That's also maybe another thing that has to do with my enjoyment of books. So this one, as you can see, has a, almost a, the same kind of color scheme as booked. Um, but except instead of green, this one has orange. Um, I pretty sure that what took me out of this is not necessarily the story but the handwriting the handwriting took me out of it that matters uh for me um I know some people don't really bother them but me baby the handwriting <laughs> but um I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna continue reading it and hopefully I finish it this time because I have the physical book in hand next one the magic fish I've always seen this book never picked it up um, from my library, the ebook version of it, it's always available um, for the most part. So I said, I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up since I saw it. Anytime I see a title that I've seen before, I usually will pick it up. So The Magic Fish by Trung Lee Wynn. Have that. That's also teen. And Who the F Cares? I finished reading Who, Who the F Are You? last month and I wanted to immediately pick up this. I have the ebook on my phone through Libby, but I haven't picked it up. So this will be better. Having it in front of me physically for whatever reason, I get through it faster than I would ebook. Maybe because the phone has so many distractions and iPad too. So the ebook, I got it. And I, not ebook, sorry, the physical book. I got it. Who the F cares by Huda, Huda Fami, who does find me? I'm gonna go ahead and read that as well. I have the physical now. So those are all my teen books. Sorry if I got like a little sidetracked. Um, I got a little bit distracted there. So let me stack this up. Sorry, I'm making a lot of noise. Next stack of books is are my um, middle grade graphic novels. So up to no ghoul. I read uh, The Ghoul Next Door either last month or August. I don't remember, but I really enjoyed it. So I had to pick up the second book. I actually started this immediately after finishing The Ghoul Next Door, um, but the book was returned back before I could finish it. And I'm pretty sure there's a hold for it. So I said, let me just, if I find it in one of my libraries, go ahead and get the physical so I can read it. Because I read the physical last time and, um, that was a good time so we'll see i'm trying to remember how far i got into this because i feel like you know what would be funny if i already read this and don't remember <laughs> don't remember that i read it why do i feel like i read it hold up i'm about to say play it off okay no no i haven't read this one i know i remember what happened last time uh i don't know how far i got into this i want to say i maybe made it to page 70 something I, I didn't have that much left. I maybe had less, less than 50% 50 50 left. That's the thing. <laughs> Julie's been picking up books that she started in ebook format and just didn't finish. But yeah, I started this one too. I just need to finish it. So now that I have the physical, I should be able to finish it this month in October. Next, Timid. Now, I passed this book up several times because I saw it at my other library two weeks ago. Um, when I say other library, that means that I went to another library in the library system that I'm, I currently have a card for. And this one here, I picked it up because I, I want to have options for our family group read. Um, ever since me and the boys read uh, Game Reveal by Johnny Christmas together, and we, we were able to discuss it, I wanted to do something like that every single month so that at least they have read one, one book a month. I don't have to worry about that with the oldest because he reads a lot of manga, but the youngest, I do have to worry about him and his reading because he he doesn't actively go and seek out a book so having a family a required family group read helps with that um so we may read timid and this is what the artwork looks like it reminds me a little bit of picture day um i forgot who picture day is by i'll have to put up the person's the, the book here um, but picture day i read that last month as well and i enjoyed it but it looks like a good time 
My youngest is pretty timid. The oldest is too, but the youngest more so. So hopefully this will be a book where we can have a conversation about, you know, changing up a little bit. Like it's okay to be timid, but let's let's shake it up. Let's do a little bit different. Surprise people. You don't want people always saying you the shy one, you know. Um, next one. I picked this one. It's called The Night Librarian by Christopher Nip Lincoln. I don't want a book pick, I mean, uh, came out, but I have a feeling that this book was picked into a movie because I vaguely remember watching something on um, Netflix. When did this come out? Never mind. Play it off. This, I'm lying. This came out in 2024. So this just ha Oh, it's different. The Night Library is what I'm talking about, not The Night Librarian. So this is different. Um, Night Librarian picked it up because of the title, and I also thought it maybe maybe was related to the Netflix movie, but apparently it's not. But it looks like it may be a good time, right? I think I'll show some of the artwork. Can you see that? Lots of words. Don't say it. Don't say I didn't warn you. Lots and lots of words and images, but it gets red, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. It gets red. Uh, the New Kid. This is another choice that I may suggest as a family group read after I finish reading it. Um, I have, I don't know why I've been avoiding, well, I know why, but I don't know why at the same time. Every time I see this available at my library, I pass it up. And finally today I picked it up. I know a lot of people like it, especially Ashley at Book of Shroom. Um, and I know that the author has another book that came out. I had no idea it was a graphic novel. This whole time I thought it was, you know, a novel with just words, no images. So I'm excited to get into it. I like how it looks. I can see how it could be like some kind of cartoon or something if it was in motion. Uh, and hopefully, after I finish reading it, it'll be something that I feel that me and the kiddos can talk about um, because they are new kids, sort of kind of, at their school. My oldest in particular is new because he's in 11th grade, but my youngest, he's in the sixth grade. So of course, technically he's new, but he's not new. Um, but I feel like this will be relatable to them as well as timid so these are our book choices for our family group read for october um, and those are my graphic novels for middle grade let me go ahead and stack these books up on the books up on the side Ooh, y'all like it's a lot <laughs> it's a lot of books but i always pick up a lot of books when i go to the library my my children make fun of me they're like ma how many bibles did you check out this time my business. I checked out several Bibles. <laughs> uh, Bibles as in just big books. That's what they always say. So next book I have, I picked it up because one, the title and two, the cover. So this is Queen B, the story of Anne Boleyn, Witch Queen by Juno Dawson. Um, and I know that name is very familiar. I'm trying to remember. I know they wrote a book. Okay. The Shadow Cabinet. They have really pretty covers all the time. So this is in black and white, of course. But if you go and look up this title and you see the cover, it looks just as eye-catching and bold and sharp and just beautiful like this one. It's very short. It's not that long. It's like 100 and 200 and... Oh, I lied there too. 198 pages. So it's not long at all. Um, I picked it up because it was sitting on the shelf as a new book i don't know if it's a new book per se like new, new book for the year but it's new um a new addition to the library that i went to today i'm trying to see um when this came out 2024 okay so it is brand new and i'm not going to read the back because i usually don't okay you can go look it up yourself again queen b the story of anne boleyn witch queen by juno dawson check it out it's nice Next, these are adult books, of course. Um, and it's, I don't know what makes it sci-fi fantasy, but I guess we'll find out. All right, this is the only adult graphic novel that I picked up, and it's called A Guest in the House by Emily Carroll. This is not my first Emily, Emily Carroll book to read. I'm pretty sure I picked up something else by them. Um, I'm trying to remember. I wish I could. I remember it was a book that was rectangular. And it was creepy. I remember that much. I want to say it was, it was a story about a little red riding hood, but I could be wrong. I know it had a house on the front. Um, I'm looking at the images just to go through real quick. Okay, this should be a quick read. So, 
I picked it up because, like I said, the name is familiar. I'm pretty sure I read a book by them before. The cover is eye-catching. And I'm always trying to get graphic novels from different uh, audiences. So, as you can see, I had it for children. I had our middle grade. I also had teen. And then this is my adult one. I have other adult ones that are sitting over there from my previous library hauls that I didn't share with you all. If you all want to know what I picked up in the last four weeks... I'm, and I, that I still have in the house because, of course, I return books in between that time. Let me know and I will make a separate video just talking about the books that I picked up in September. And I'm more than more than happy uh, to do that for you all. Next book, again, adult. This is called Gaslight by Femi Coyote, I think. Yeah, Femi Coyote. And it's crime fiction. I'm pretty sure Femi is African or black oh wait yes clinical psychologist in nigeria um they have another book that i want to pick up which is down here light seekers um but if you don't know this month is black Halloween, so i've been picking up more books by black authors that are crime fiction horror thriller suspense um paranormal that, that all that jazz and this is one of the books that i happen to have in my library it was pretty difficult finding books um, by black authors that are crime fiction. Um, I have, I'm currently reading, what is it called? All the Sinners Bleed by S.A. Cosby. And then I also have one or two books by Rachel Housel Hall. And then I have a book by Tamron. Is it Tamron Hall? Tamron. Ooh, I'm about to get in trouble. I don't remember his name, but I'll put it. I put it up here. Tamara, she has a TV show and I should know her name. But yes, I have a book by her as well. So I have quite a few. So another one that I have or two that I actually have are from um, Brendan Slocum. I started this book here for my book club at work and I fell off. I don't know why. Part of me wants to say it's because the mother is a butt, but another part of me is like, no, I maybe just got disinterested, not disinterested. I maybe got distracted by another book. I'm pretty sure I made about 50 or 60% into it. Yeah. We're gonna just call these type of books where I already read some of it and I'm checking it out again. Just, we're gonna call them circle backs, okay? This is another circle back book. I have this one and then I immediately, if I have the time to, or if I can read it before, um, it needs to be turned back. I'm going to read the second book. Um, I don't think it's in the series. But I could be wrong. But this is about the same author, Brenda Slocum, Symphony of Secrets. So I have The Violent Conspiracy, which is his first book that I know of. And then this one, The Symphony of Secrets. I don't think it's picking up from there, is it? No, I think it's different because it says 1920s. Yeah, it's different. Oof, and baby, it's heavier too. Uh, how, how many pages? 430 something? Y'all gonna laugh when, okay, this is 300 something. So he, he wrote up an extra 100 pages uh, to complete this book. <laughs> Here, oh my God. Woo, lots of pages. Um, then I picked up Skin and Bones by Renee Watson. Now I've read one or two books by Renee Watson, but they were, um, Mm -hmm. They were teen books. Yes, so this is Renee Watson here. I read their book called Piecing Me Together. And there was another one, something, something Street. I forgot, but I know I read two books by them. Or maybe three. If they wrote that, uh, that retelling for... Romeo and Juliet, but make it black and in New York, something or the other. Mm, yeah, I don't remember. But I know I read a couple books about his author and I've always enjoyed them. Um, but Skin and Bones, I think this is horror. Could be wrong. No, not horror. What is it? Because I know when I looked online, it was categorized as either a thriller or crime fiction. I could be wrong. Don't quote me. Let me just shut up right there. Let me just shut up right there. Let's just say I picked it up. 
because one, the cover is eye, it's eye catching. I love the simplicity of the title, and it's Renee Watson. I'm not gonna say that much. I love red, so it got my attention. Two more books, and then I'm gonna go and get the boys. This is a lengthy video. I hope you all got some snacks. Uh, Womb City, love this cover by Tulopulopumati. Sorry, if you get as old as he most likely is screaming because it's something on TV. I don't know if I pronounced the name correctly. I will learn. I should have rehearsed or found out how to pronounce the name before I came up on this camera. But here we are. So it's either Lolo, Tlolo, Tlo, Tlo. I think the T is silent. Lolo, Tamasi. Y'all tell me in the, the comments because, yeah, I'm butchering the name, I'm sure. Um, but the Womb City. Womb City, it sounds so Woo, the one that's a small print um but yeah it sounds really good based on the synopsis because i do i don't remember the synopsis but i remember reading it and being like oh i gotta read that um hold up every time i open these books up i'm like dang books are now 28 to 30 dollars each baby i i if you can't tell i check out mostly from my library um, but the author is from Botswana. Okay. Mm, pronouns are Z, Zim, Zer, or she, her, hers. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't think I've read anything by them before. Okay. Why? Oh, because it's their, their, uh, debut novel, but they do have a story in Africa risen. And New Sons too, which are two books that I have on my TBR as well. They're short story collections. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this. And sci-fi fantasy. Okay, if you're looking for that. Um, and yeah, I love when I'm finding a book that's by an author that's, that does not live here in the U.S. Try to read. When I say diversely, read outside your country <laughs> as well. Don't read strictly American authors. And the biggest book I picked up, and I just picked it up just to see what it felt like in my hands. That's all. I may read some of it just to see what it's like. Um, this book seems like it's been through quite a bit. Um, from Oprah's Book Club 2023, The Covenant of Water. Now, she was talking about this book, I feel like, for months. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to have to try it out and see what's the big, big deal. It's 720. How many? 215 pages. That's a lot of pages. <laughs> that's a lot of pages. No, but seriously, that's a lot of pages. No, but seriously though, that's a lot of pages. Um, and it's funny that Oprah was able to get everybody to go and pick up this book, this brick of a book. Um, I don't know what it's about. I'm assuming it's going to be a good time. A good time as in dramatic, full of drama. Um, but yeah, this book has been well well loved by so many people 32 dollars what 32 dollars let me put this over here let me go ahead and call the boys and have them show me their books and then i'm gonna let you all go but thank you for hanging out with me i appreciate it so far samad come and share your books please and thank you Come and share your books. I do want to see. Okay, but it's recording right now. So all you have to tell me is why you picked those books out. Go get your books so I can show them. He's going to go get his books. Okay. Okay. What's the book? Um, okay. So he picked up three of the bad guys books. He's seen the movie. Um, I don't know if he realized that he picked up them out of order. Picked them up out of order. Like this is book number two. I don't think he doesn't matter to you. No. Okay. And this is book number six. So this is bad guys and mission pluckable. This is Bad Guys and Alien versus Bad Guys. 
And then we have bad guys in the baddest day ever. And this is book number 20, not 2010, sorry. So he has books two, six, and 10. So I'm gonna let him tell you all really quick. Why did you pick out bad guys? You can keep it really simple. You don't have to say a lot. Why did you pick bad guys? Because uh, I like uh, bad guys. You do? You like bad guys? Yes, I like it. Okay. Uh, that's it? Okay, that's fine. All right, go here you go. And go ahead and get your... your and, what else? And I like it. Uh, the movie, it's come outside. Mm -hmm. like, the TV, is come outside. Right. Uh, so, they do the series first. After the series, they do the bad guys. The movie. Yes, mm -hmm. that's all. Okay. All right. Tell your brother to come. Tell Malik to get his books. Mom, get your books to share. I'm recording right now, so we're waiting on you. Today, not tomorrow. That's my thing that I say. Like now, now, I'll get it done. How are you gonna do it? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's, been a, it's been a long day, y'all. I'm tired. Whoa. I didn't need to sign. I'm gonna put it here. Okay. You don't have to. Okay. So, are there like groups of books? It's just different kind of books. Okay. So, first book. I have here is Soul Eater by who? Atsushi. What's how you say it? Yeah, yeah, you got it. Atsushi. Atsushi Okubo. Why did you pick this book out? Uh, I don't know. Because of uh, every uh, weapon, I try to defeat more you know, demons. You have to become the devil's main weapon. Blah, blah, like competition. Okay. That's what he said. I don't know. <laughs> Spy Family, we've seen this around the interwebs, and it's by Satsuya Endo. Yeah. Okay, why did you choose this one? I, I, like, the, I like the series because, you know, they, they pretend to be like a family, but behind the scenes, they're working on that as to kill mm. so, an organization. So. Right, right. Okay. I've never picked it up before. This is the first, book number one. Yeah, I watched it before. Oh, you already yeah. seen it. Okay, but you feel like reading it. Okay. Um, Chainsaw. Yeah. This is questionable. Oh, Chainsaw Man what? by <laughs> by by Sasuke Fujimoto. And why did you pick this one? This is volume. It's about devil. Six. Uh, it's about the devil. If my mother were here, she'd be like, "You read a lot of books about the devil." <laughs> so you picked this because what? Yeah, like the devil, uh, devil. Dandy, you know, Chainsaw. Okay. You know what the devil was? Uh, I think ah, I forgot his name. But the boy had the devil, which is chest, so it had that his chest, you know. But the power come out. Wow. Oh, okay. This here. This is the chain he's talking This one? No, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, never mind. I like yeah, it. different kinds of devil. Oh, it's different kinds of devils. Okay. I know. I know. The uh -huh. zombie devil, the spider devil, and your devil. You found all of these at that library? Wow. Okay. What? You okay? <laughs> this is precious books. One piece. This is number ninety five. Have you read all of them? No, I love them. Oh my god. Okay. We all know about One Piece. I'm assuming you pick it up because it's popular. No. No. Oh, why? Because uh, I want to you know. Just check some parts where uh, Luffy turned to J five. J five. No, can't wait. It's it's power. J five. Gear five. What's gear five? You? Yeah? yeah, no. Don't worry about it. You, we, but the video is already thirty four minutes, <laughs> so don't get stressed out. It's okay. Um, Monkey D. I don't know what it is, but uh, this is by I Ichiro Oda. I think I'm saying it correctly. Next, My Hero Academia. I've heard that before by Kohi Horikoshi. I said it wrong? No, you got it, you got it. Okay. <laughs> this is number 36. It's basically about um, a real academy who defeat a uh, villain organization. This is like the final part. Mm. 
Oh, so it's almost the end. No, this, yeah, these like two brothers fighting. Oh, that's sad. They're fighting. They're brothers. I haven't read this, so this is not me. So I don't okay. really know much about it. Okay, so you watch this anime. I'm gonna just pick up all the books and then tell you all. What? It's in the end of I know, I'm trying to. Can you please let me get there? Uh, okay. okay, the Requiem of the, I mean, Requiem of the Rose King. He got number six. Number seven. Number five. And number eight. So five through eight is what he got. Why did you pick this up? Oh, you said you already seen it? I haven't seen it. Oh, you haven't seen it, so this is new to you. Okay, so he's going to try something out, something new. That's what everybody should do. They should try something new. I'm challenging you all. Try something new. All right, now we have High School of the Dead. Oh, did I say who this is by? Who is it by? I don't know the author. Hold up, y'all. The Requiem of the Rose King is by Aya Kano. Mm -hmm. It's almost done. Chill out. It's okay. <laughs> Next, High School of the Dead by Daisuke Sato and the artist by Shui Sato. Um, these images, they're questionable. <laughs> but, okay. Um, you got numbers two and seven. Why did you pick these? Uh, it's talking about, uh, it's um, like, not like our eight, you know, full of zombie. With only a few survivors left. They are trying to get their loved ones, rescue them, take them for supplies. Okay, so it's a zombie story. And ah. also, you know, <laughs> romance parts. Okay, you like your little romance. Romance. No, and there's so, a little bit of uh, nudity. And uh, hey, hey, you are recording this. Uh. <laughs> but okay, you heard it from the mouth of babes. <laughs> I'm messing with you. This is the 16 year old, you all. He'll be 17 in November. And then Tokyo Ghoul. I've heard of Tokyo Ghoul before. This is number 14. I don't know what it's about. It's just about uh, people who are ghouls. So, oh. so they feed on humans in order to survive. I got a book about ghouls too. But but some don't feed on humans in order to survive. Mm. Yeah. Is it a TV so show? So there's some group of, uh, uh, group of humans. Organization or oh, trying to wipe out the entire ghost. Oh, even though some of them don't eat people. That's sad. Yeah. Um, this is a okay, Black okay, Lagoon. No. That's the new one. I've done one yet. So, this is something else that he's trying out. He's trying out six, seven, and eight of Black Lagoon by Ray Re Hero. Um, explicit content. Where do you find these at? Was it the teen section? Uh, I got my own sausage. Was it, a, was it in the teen section or the adult section? Samad section. This is Samad section? Yes. This is in the children's section? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. I was pissed off when I saw it in the children's section. Because in the manga section, there was nothing there. Wait, wait. Let me make sure you understand. Part. This was where the children's stuff was? Yes. Stop. Stop. I don't know. That's what that's and strange. The manga was not good. Black Lagoon. Next time we need to check the adult section because I think they have good manga there. This is number six. Seven. Oh, let me turn it Six, seven, seven, and eight. This is, oh, I keep doing it the wrong way. Sorry, y'all. Seven. <laughs> Maybe I should show you all like this. This is six. This is seven. And this is eight. A black lagoon. Okay, looks very action packed. You won't be busy. Okay. Uh, I can read fast. And he's. I know you can read. So hey, did you read one and two already? We one already for Tower of God. No. What you I'm read last sure. time? A Tower of God. It's different. Well, I may want to read this one too. Okay, so he got Tower. These are the last two, y'all. Then I'm gonna let y'all go. Tower of God. He got books one and two. I feel like you checked out one of these though. I know. That one is a different volume. Okay. So this is one and two. This is, it looks like it was on Webtoon at one point, if you can see that at Webtoon. Um, why'd you pick this one out? I won't watch it. I've not read it yet. So. Oh, you already watched it? I haven't watched it. Oh, you it. haven't watched it. Okay, so this is new to him as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he picked out, seems like, three new series. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Tower God by 
Who's the by? Hmm. Where is the name of the author? <laughs> Sui? Siu? That's what it says. S-I-U. I don't know what that stands for, but... Yeah, I think, you know, that's the part see you. Okay. So it's maybe it's see you. Okay. No, sorry, it's the Joel E. I don't know. Here's the thing. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. So the back says who it is. Okay, Lee Jung Hui. Also known by the P name. P, P, P name. <laughs> P name. <laughs> S-I-U means slave in utero. It's a creative tower of God. Okay, okay. Okay. So you got one and two. What, what number is that one? Two. Okay, two. And that, my peeps. Let me turn it this way. Or the other way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This way? Yeah. Okay. So that is the end of our haul. We went we usually go to the library almost every week. Right? Man. Yeah. And we're always finding books. I'm always surprised when the oldest over here is able to still find manga that he's interested in because you would think that after going every week or every near every single week, um, he would run out of things to find but no so i implore you all if you're coming across this video go to your library take the time to go to your library card okay and save your little coins while you can and <laughs> and patron your library the more you go to the library and check out books the more they're able to get funding and the more they're able to get more varied um selections if you don't use it you what lose it that goes with just about almost everything so yeah, that's it. Let me give you these. Oh, it's heavy. Thank you, thank you. It's just okay. I, I, I got it. Thank you. I appreciate thank it. Thank you. Don't watch it too. My. <laughs> well, I'm going to let you all go. Thank you all for spending time with me. Like I said, I'm going to try to do this every week. Um, or at least every week immediately after we come back from the library. Um, I don't remember a total number of books that we checked out, but I checked out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen 14, 15, 16, books today. Um, and I wish I had a copy of my receipt so you can see how long it is. I'm pretty sure I'm either now at 46 or 48 books checked out. Um, I'm always checking out and doing the most. I don't know how to do it any differently. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm happy with the selection that I was able to find. Um, and maybe next time I'll be able to tell you all how many books I actually read from the haul that I did today. Usually I can read about half, um, but we'll see. Um, most of these books, I think that I checked them out more than once. So I'm able to have them for at least a whole month, but there's no telling. So yeah, until next time, I want you to stay hydrated. I'm about to get me some water right now. Stay hydrated, mind the business as yours, and continue reading beyond the book's cover. My name is Jaleesa. Thank you for coming by, share some time with me, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye. Oh.